and the child grew in wisdom and stature and was in favor with God and man. Was in favor with God and man. So, as an apex, I'm a crowning the week. In the Unganisha Nico Hill on Psalms 89, verse 20. Psalms 89, verse 20. Mbapo leo, unataka kushiriki kuhusu. Releasing the oil of favor. Releasing the oil of favor upon your life. Psalms 89. From verse 20, we begin a sermon. I found my servant David. With my holy oil, I have anointed him. With whom my hand shall be established. Also, my arm shall strengthen him. And so, the enemy shall not outwit him. Nor the son of wickedness afflict him. 23. I will beat down his fowls before his face and plague those who hate him. Verse 24. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and in my name his horn shall be exalted. And also, I will set his hand over the sea. And his right hand over the rivers. He shall cry to me, You are my Father, my God, the rock of my salvation. Also, I will make him my firstborn, the highest of the kings of the earth. My mercy I will give for him forever. My covenant shall stand the firm with him. His seed also I will make to endure forever. And he is strong as the gates of heaven. If his sons forsake my law and do not walk in my judgments, if they break my statutes and do not keep my commandments, then I will punish their transgression with rod and their iniquity with stripes. Nevertheless, my loving kindness I will not utter, ut utterly take from him, nor allow my faithfulness to fail. My covenant. I will not break nor alter the word that has gone out of my lips. Releasing the oil of favor upon the life. Ukitaka utembe kwa mafuta ya kibali. You have to break from the majority and be found by God. Verse 37, I have found my servant David. Tengalia the Bible, the pattern of the Bible ni kwamba, mafuta ya mungu iku na karama yaki. Na mafuta ya mungu iku na mitiani yaki. Na niko wale tu wako wili kufil karama Na kupita mtiani wa kutembea na mafuta ya mungu, diyo mungu uachigia mafuta yake kai kwa maisha yao. Salimia jirani yako mambie. The engine behind the favor of God, the biblical favor of God, ni the oil of the Holy Spirit. Lakini usipo juwa, Ni nini na qualify mtu anapata mafuta ya Mungu? Utakimbia kwa sarakasi nyingi sana. I found my servant David. Daudi alikuwa mfalme wa pili wa Israeli. Each Israeli in fun way to natural example of how God deals. Uta say amen. Uta say amen. 
Alafu kanisa ni a second example. Tembele kwa maandiko lazima differentiate between the dealing of God with Israel and the dealing of God with the church. It will be. So for establishing the things of God, you have to have a separating line between those two. So naturally, wa Israeli walikuwa watu wa Mungu kwa sababu walikuwa watoto wa Yakobo. Walikuwa watoto wa Yakobo ni ukweli. Jina wa Israeli limetokana na jina Israel. Mbalo Yakobo alipewa na Mungu baada ya kupigana na malaika usiku mzima. Alafu Mungu akamwambia, "Kuanzia leo utaitwa Yakobo, utaitwa Israeli." Mtaseme amen. Amen. Mtaseme amen. Amen. Sasa unapata kwamba vile Mungu alitaka mafuta haya bali kai kwa Israeli kuna set standard Mungu aliweka. Hii maandiko nimesoma hapa ukienda katika Genesis, ukienda okay, Deuteronomy 32, pia utaangalia Deuteronomy 32, uangalie vile Mungu alimpata Yakobo. Ndiposa Mungu ageuze Yakobo jini na mwiti Israeli ilikuwa rais ilikuwa ni safari na Mungu kumtafuta Yakobo na kumpata. Kwa Mungu anaposema hapa kwa maandiko kwamba I found my servant David inamaanisha Daudi kuna mtiani amepita. Inamaanisha kwamba kuna pahadi Mungu alianza na Daudi akatoka kaangalia huyu Daudi akasema this a man after my own heart. Nimekuja siku ya leo nikikuombea kwamba Mungu atakupata siku ya leo. Ya kwamba utakaa tu kwa kanisa, utakaa tu hivyo hivyo lakini unapokuja katika kanisa utapatikana mbele za Mungu kuwa mtu wa dhamana. Utaseme amen. Nimekuja nikikuombea kwamba mbele za Mungu utapata udhamana ya kwamba Mungu amekupata na Mungu macho yake iko kwako. Mtu apige magonge sema asante. I found my servant David with my holy oil. I have anointed him with my holy oil. I have anointed him. Ukiangalia maisha ya Daudi vizuri, Daudi alipaka mafuta mara tatu. Na hizo pako zote tatu zilikuwa na maana yake. Hiyo ni maandisha kwamba mafuta yoyote ambayo inakuja kwa maisha ya mtu huwa na maana ambayo Mungu anataka hiyo mafuta itimilize. Mungu apeani tu mafuta yaone na onela. Mafuta ya kwanza ambayo Daudi alipokea. First Samuel atasoma sabi wakati 16. Samuel ndiye alikuja katika the home na akasema happen happen the Lord chosen you to be the king of my people. Happen the Lord chosen you. Kwa hivyo inamaanisha kwamba mafuta ya kwanza Daudi aliyoyapokea ilikuwa kuonyesha kwamba Daudi alikuwa amepata kibali na Mungu na Daudi alikuwa ametanguliwa na Mungu. Mtu aseme amen. amen. Yaani ilikuwa mafuta ya kuseparate Daudi from being a common person to being a special person. Mtu aseme hallelujah. From being among the majority to being set aside for the specific purpose of God. Mtu aseme hallelujah. Asubuhi ya leo nimekuja nikiomba ya kwamba mtu atapatikana asubuhi ya leo kwamba atanguliwe na Mungu kwa sababu ya hitaji fulani kwa kanisa na kwamba mahali hapa mtu anapatikana na Mungu kuweza kutumika kwa njia ya kipekee na kwamba Mungu mtu anapatikana na Mungu kwa sababu kusimama kwenye pengo mahali kazi ambayo wengine wanaogopa oh asubuhi ya leo nimekuja nikikuombea ya kwamba Mungu atakupaka mafuta akuchagua usimame kwa sababu ya familia yako Mungu atakusema atakuchagua asubuhi ya leo usimame akupake mafuta ufunje umasikini ufunje ugongo ufunje mikosi ufunje balaa Mungu apige magome sema nimechaguliwa Ndosa Mungu akutumie ni lazima kwanza Mungu akuchague 
kuna mtiani wa kutaguliwa mtiani wa kutaguliwa sana sana unaenda na moyo moyo Yule asema kwamba mwanadamu Samuel so, akasema mwanadamu anaangalia outwardly lakini Mungu anaangalia nini moyo salimia ndani kumwambia moyo Mungu anaangalia nini Ukiangalia hivi kutoka hapa mpaka huku naona ni wazee vizuri sana. Mwezi picha. Kutoka hapa mpaka hivi na waona vizuri sana. Macho yangu yamefunguka sasa hivi. Na waona vizuri. Kama unajificha wewe, wewe kwa maneno. Kanina ndio ndio mwambie hata kujificha wewe. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Ninajua wale ambao wako committed na najua wale ambao wako committed. Kama unataka Mungu akuchague, you have to stand out. You have to be unique. You have to make a decision kwamba mimi nataka nisimame kwa niaba ya Mungu. Kama unataka Mungu Mungu, Mungu akuchague, ni lazima you have to prove yourself that you are different. Mtasema amen. Tarimia ndio ninapomwambia mimi mtu atafauti. Sasa mwingine mwambie usiniza Yesu wewe bwana. Mimi hapana mtu wa kawaida kawaida. Mimi ni mtu wa tofauti sana. Mtu asema amen. Mafuta inaendana na heshima. Unaona? Ukiona Mungu ameweka mafuta yake kwa mtu, anamheshimu, amemtoa kwa wengi, amemseparate na anamheshimu. Hivi inamaanisha for you to qualify for the oil you have to have self respect salimia jirani yako mwambie ninajiheshimu bwana salimia mwingine mwambie niheshimu basi naomba isiwe sana na jeshi haleluya haleluya pigie yesu makofi mazuri haleluya haleluya unajua kuna watu wajiheshimu wanataka waheshimiwe na wengine lakini hao wafanye nini wafanye nini heshima inaanza na mmoja na hao ukali yourself kuna vile tu na bana watu wanapoheshimu unapita mahali kama huyu mzee wetu Laban watu wanamheshimu wakiweka hiyo mikono sababu amekomanda ni respect naona respect kwa mara tatu respect kwa mara ngapi there is self respect automatic respect command automatic respect alafu kuna and respect kuna impost respect impost mafuta na mafuta hii kwa sababu na mafuta si ya mafuta mtu anapoe mtu anapoejea mafuta na Mungu ukiwa unampenda mpendi hauwezi zuia kile Mungu alipanga kwa maisha yake sababu ukipigana na yeye unapigana na Mungu mtasema amen hiyo ndio sababu you have to learn how to respect that which God has respected when you have to learn alipoona watu wanapiga pinga mitume akawaambia hey take notes take note na hawa watu akasema kwamba if this work and this counsel be of men it shall come to an end but if it be of god be careful be careful that you may not be found fighting against god fighting against god mtaseme amen Mungu anapokuweka mafuta yake haijadishi approve wanadamu. Mungu akichakuwa approve amekuwa approve. Hiyo ndio sababu na nafunza siri. So hakuwa mtu ambaye Mungu alifanda miaka nyingi sana ndipo sampatia mafuta. Lakini mafuta ilipo kwa juu yake. Maandiki nasema at the end of the company of the prophets akaanza kuprofesa. Mtaseme hallelujah. Mtaseme hallelujah. Inakuwa hivyo kwa unapata kwamba yule mtu anapata ability ambayo ni extraordinary immediately mafuta inapokuja juu ya mtu unapata kwamba kuna some kind of characteristics ambazo ni extraordinary na kwamba mtu anatoka kutoka from being ordinary anakuwa extraordinary mtu anakuwa from being common anakuwa special mtu anakuwa kwamba ako honored of god mtu apiga na kwamba sema i'm honored of god Soma fast Samuel chapter 9 sitaka pale ndio wakati ukisoma story ya Saul wale 
kijana so alipoteza alipoteza vitu vyake alipoteza mtonde za baba yake alafu alikuwa anatafuta nabii amwende sefa alipunda siku wale vijana rafiki walikuwa wamejua mambo ya mafuta wakasema uweni kuona nabii na mkono tupu kwa nini respect sikaliye jirani yako mwambie respect mwambie respect unaona vile kuna bisho baba kimzoea yale makanisa mengine yanapata baraka ya mafuta yake kuliko vile sisi tuko na yake. The more an anointed vessel is near to you, the more you are in danger. Unafu kwa to him more is given, more shall be required. Mtaseme hallelujah. Mtaseme hallelujah. Sida wanadamu wanapenda ku commonize, commonizing things. Commonizing, na commonize kwa mtu ambaye kama umeokoka wewe mtu special. Jerisi watu wanasema ni kukuhusu. If a man be Christ Jesus is a new creation. Ijadishi ndio utasema kunihusu. Hatu jamaa na mapua kubwa. Ijadishi as be a new creation. Hatu jamaa na kwamba black sana. Ijadishi unanitukia. Mimi mbele za Mungu ama new creation. Tanie jeneri yako mwambie ama new creation. Bosi ni kama kile mwambie ni mpate kibali mbele za Mungu. Mwambie mwingine mimi ni mtoto wa Mungu. Lazima unipende upende usipende. Tanie jeneri yako mwambie ninakupenda by force. Kuna watu tu kupenda tu kupenda wacha respect. Kupenda tu wengine pasipo condition. Pasipo mimi naona kwa hiyo ndio tunakupenda bodi. Tanie jeneri yako mwambie nakupenda tu bodi. What does it cost? What does it cost to love somebody? My brother, God just come in the morning. Na kunihabi, kusema kuniambia pasta you love me. God bless you. Yaani unaonyesha pepo la Mungu. What does it cost you? Imeendelea kwa muda. Does it cost you? Yaani wewe wewe unakuona na chuki na ndugu zako. Mtaki kuona. Bali ukuje kwa kanisa unaangalia kwa mengine hili. Wewe ni kupata wewe. Tunaendelea kwa mambo ni kupata wewe. Oh, I'm in the 
nomination of qualifying to walk in with the oil of fame ambao ni mafuta ya roho mtakatifu ni moyo wako moyo wako lazima ubadilike na utembee in the newness of life mtu aseme glory to jesus ninapomalizia mafuta ya Mungu inapokuja juu ya mtu anapokuifai kwa pamoja na Mungu ninakuja juu ya maisha ya mtu tunajuaje mtu uko na mafuta ya Mungu so hiyo Psalms nzuri ya maandiko yamejaa tu ushuhuda tu kwa mafuta ya Mungu verse 2 inasema the, uh, inasema the enemy shall not outwit him nor the son of wickedness afflict him but the one asema with whom my hand shall be established and my arm strengthen him ishara ya kwanza kwamba mtu alipokea mafuta ya Mungu ni kwamba kuna udhahiri wa mkono wa Mungu kutumia juu ya maisha ya mtu yule Mungu aseme amen Mungu aseme amen Isaya 59 nasema kwamba mkono wa Mungu sio mfupi ukufikie macho yake sio mapofu ya sikuoni bali dhambi zetu na maovu yetu imetutenga na Mungu. Mungu aseme amen. Unaponeta moyo wako karibu na Mungu, mkono wake unarest upon your life. Mkono wake utakaa juu yake. Mkono wa Mungu kukua katika maisha ya mtu. Watu wote katika Biblia ambao waliona utofauti katika mazingira magumu ilikuwa kwa sababu ya mkono wa Mungu. Mkono wa Mungu. Kwa mfano Musa, hakuna bila Musa atatoa wana Israeli kwa mkono wa Farao kama sio mkono wa Mungu uliokuwa pamoja na Musa. Zaburi inasema kwamba kwa mkono wa Musa hadi wakomboa kutoka kwa Israeli ndio kuwa kwa amba mapinyelea. Kono wa Mungu unapokalia mtu inakuwa kwamba unakuchukuma into impossibilities. Kono wa Mungu kuweka in comfort zone. Kono wa Mungu unapokalia unaingianga into adversity unaingiana into impossibilities. Mkono wa Mungu ufanya kazi pale pale ambapo ni pagumu hali ambapo ni pagumu mafuta ya Mungu ikiwa kwa maisha yako itakusukuma kutoka comfort zone ikupeleke mahali kuna mahitaji mkono wa Mungu unabobea una succeed mahali kuna mahitaji kama unataka ujue Mungu kwa na wewe anza kufanya kitu ambacho in the natural huwezi fanya Mungu anasema amen kama unakujua wakati una sense mafuta ya Mungu iko juu yako anza ku attempt the impossible Mungu anasema hallelujah Santoni alipo sense the raw Mungu soma judge starting the last verse 25 anasema kwamba na roho wa Bwana akaanza ku move Samson Samson alipo anza kuhisi ni kama roho wa Bwana na Mungu katika maisha yake the next mafuta ya mtu ya Mungu inapokalia mkono wa Mungu unapokaji ya mtu mkono huo unakuja unavutanga maadui unavutanga hali ngumu unavutanga shida lakini na nakuja kutia moyo kwamba ukiwa na mafuta ya Mungu hizo shida zitakuzoea hiyo hali unaona itakuzoea hiyo blockage ambayo unaona mbele yako itakuzoea kwa sababu mkono wa Mungu umekukalia unasema hallelujah mkono wa Mungu ukikukalia unakupatia experiment na practicals za kufanya katika hali ngumu na masikira na kumkuta wapiga na kutesema asante kwa mkono wako. Hapo chini inasema kwamba but my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. In my name his horn shall be exalted and I will set him his hand on the sea. My faithfulness 
and my mercy shall be with him. Amen. Amen. My faithfulness will be with you, Mungu. Oh, assurance will be with you, Mungu, in your life. Ni kuutua kwamba mkono Mungu kwa mafuta yake iko katika maisha yako. Mtaseme haleluya. Mafuta ya Mungu ikiwa kwa maisha yako hata waungane wangapi? Maandiko yanasema they shall gather but not of me. Mtaseme amen. Ndio wanakusanyika katika siri kwa sababu yako lakini kwa sababu kuna mafuta ya kibali watatawanyika mara saba. Mtaseme haleluya. Wanakuongea vibaya wakitaka urudi chini lakini utaendelea kuendelea mbele mtu aseme glory to god wanaikuwekea wanakuwekea kwa committee ukalia ukwenyanya baraka zako na kukuonea wivu lakini badala wewe urudi nyuma unaendelea mbele kwa baraka unaendelea mbele kwa utukufu unaendelea mbele kwa nguvu unazidi kukuwa na nguvu unazidi kupata baraka zingine mtu apige makofi aseme asante yes Kono wa Bwana Sema kwamba I see also I will make the Lord forever and is strong as the days of heaven He see it Mafuta yako inasaidia mpaka kizazi cha kwanza Mafuta yako sio wewe tu pia inasaidia watoto wako Ndio sababu naona mtu anaitwa me people kwa Biblia kwa mtoto wa Jonathan Jonathan alifanyia David mazuri wakati Saul anataka kumuua kwa nyumba anaambia David baba yangu nakutafuta kimbilia kwa dirisha yeye alikuwa msaada sana alifikisha David mahali Mungu alitaka afike utasema amen utasema amen na wakati Saul alikosa na nyumba yake Mungu alipoleta hukumu akamaliza hiyo nyumba huyu msipo mfipo sasa ingawaje alikuwa kiwete mtoto wa Jonathan na walinyang'anywa kitu walinyang'anywa kibali lakini juu ya ya, ya huyu kwa sababu ya Jonathan tendo lake Daudi akamkunguka mfipo sasa mtaseme amen mtaseme amen wewe sidi kutenda mema wewe sidi kupanda mema